Hi everyone. My name is Sandy and I just thought I would come in here and give you guys uh, just a, a feel for who I am and why I became um, a nutritionist and a health coach. So about 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with MS and it kind of, you know, shook my world a little bit. I was having all these symptoms, didn't really know what it was from went for some tests and they told me that I had MS. Um, yeah, I was really surprised and kind of shocked, but at the same time, didn't feel like it was right. So I tried the injectables for a week. They didn't work. They actually made me worse. The anxiety was so bad by the seventh day, I didn't want to come out of my house. I mean, that's literally how bad it was. So I had to stop taking the meds. And then I just, I got my hands and everything and anything I could think of to learn what was going on in my body and try to get a better feel for like what I could do because I didn't want to just leave it up to the doctors to decide my fate. I felt like I needed to get in, get this into my, you know, take control over this myself. And this was my responsibility. So I went to the library. I got a bunch of books, I went online, I researched, I did this every single night. I would come home from work and I would get on the computer or I would go to the library and I would get another book. I mean, I, I became obsessed with learning everything I possibly could. I eventually discovered that I found out that food was actually a huge part of autoimmune and how it affects our bodies. So I took myself off of gluten and within two months, I did not have any more symptoms. I mean, literally symptom-free uh, of the MS. I still had some other issues, um, you know, digestive issues, stomach issues, which I, I later found out with a naturopathic doctor that I had an, an allergy to egg whites. No surprise, right? And an allergy, um, and, and I didn't tolerate dairy. So by removing those two things, it was like a world of difference for me. I still, at my age, have sensitivities. I still have to watch like how much stuff I eat. I have to really eat very clean, no processed foods as much as possible. So I went back to school because I, this became a huge passion for me. I mean, I was so excited about this. Um, sorry, hold on one second. Um, So, sorry about that, my computer's doing something funky. Um, so I, I, w I, just, I always wanted to go back to school, I didn't get a degree, but I never really knew what to get the degree in. I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars and not know what. So I decided at this point, I'm like, you know what? I want to find out everything I can about food and nutrition because this, this is what I love. So I went back to school, I got my bachelor's in nutrition science, and I loved it. I mean, I, I three and a half years to, to get it and earn it, but I got it and it's been very exciting. So fast forward those four or five years um, after you know learning out what I had and then going to school, I've been at this I've been at the same job now for 30 years. I've been with the same company for 30 years. And it's gotten to a point that it's not my passion anymore. I really, it's kind of like making the donuts. It, it, you know, it's a salary. It's, it, you know, pays the bills, but it's not what I'm, I'm passionate about anymore. It's not my purpose. This is my purpose. I'm, I love helping other women with their health and fitness goals, and I love, I love, love helping you get your results. I mean, I want to help you get your results, the things, the in, in reach your goals. Um, maybe you have autoimmune issues and you didn't realize that food could be an integral part of of the, your problem. I can help you with that too. So I went online one day. I came home very frustrated. I, you know, when you've been at a job for a long time, you wear a lot of hats and you get very frustrated easily because 
I, I don't know if you're in that position, but anyway. Um, I just was home and I'm like, I need, I need a way, I need to find a way that I can do what I love and make money at it so that I can, you know, kind of replace the salary that I've been getting where I'm at. And I came across a, po a post from another woman talking about being a health coach. And I, of course, I'm one who's got to research everything. I went into, I did everything I could to figure out what this was about. Um, and then next week I signed up with, with another coach and I, I absolutely love it. I mean, I've been doing it for a little over a year and a half. It's the best thing I've ever done for my health, for my fitness, and just, you know, to fulfill my purpose and be happy at what I do. So I run health and fitness accountability groups. I help you with meal planning. I help you get the results that you want. It's, I run the Facebook groups. You know, you sign up with, with either a fitness program or a nutrition program because you need those tools in order to know, um, you know, the structure and how to move forward. It's, it's kind of like the foundation of what you need to succeed. And then I am there guiding you and helping you and supporting you along the way. So you get the results that you want. And then I just love helping. So this, this is what I love to do. And this is why I love to do it. So it also keeps me accountable to my health and fitness goals because it's not always easy to get, to, you know, to work out every day, um, you know, to stay accountable to your own. I mean, we, it's a balance, you know, it's probably like 80, 20. I mean, I still enjoy my wine. I still have days where I want treats. I mean, I just came back from vacation and we had a blast, such an awesome time. And of course I indulged in things that I normally don't, but that's, that's the thing. You're enjoying your life and you're doing, and you're still, you're still healthy. You're, you know, you're, it's, it's not about depriving yourself of things. It's about learning, learning what works for you and your body so that you can do this long-term. It's a sustainable long-term plan. It's none of this, oh, let me remove all of the carbs or, you know, I'm going to go keto and I can't have this, that, and the other thing. It's not that at all. It's, it's about eating fresh fruits and veggies, lean proteins, healthy fats, drinking a lot of water, you know, exercising at your, you know, your level. Maybe it's only, you know, 10 minutes a day to start. Maybe you need a hundred, you need to lose a hundred pounds and you're not going to start off with even working out. And that's fine too. I can help meet you where you're at right now and get you to where you want to go. So this, this is what I love to do. And you know, I, I would love to help you. And that's, that's my story. So autoimmune is a big deal for a lot of people. And if I can help you with autoimmune, if I can help you with diabetes, all of that, just for quality of life purpose, to me, is what makes doing this the, the like the best thing ever. Because I can see, I can see firsthand you know, how it helps. And that, that brings me joy and that makes me happy. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's my story. And I hope that helps you understand where I'm coming from. Please feel free to message me with any questions. I do have a link in my bio. If you're interested in any of my, my groups, or if you just want to find out more information, happy to chat with you, learn who you are and what your goals are and what your dreams are. All right. All right. Have a good one. Bye.